Need funding for your real estate investment deal? Longhorn Investments is professional, reliable, and fast. Currently serving Texas, Tennessee, North Carolina, Missouri, Alabama, and Indiana, Longhorn Investments LLC is a direct private lender offering short-term acquisition and renovation capital to real estate investors for both residential and commercial assets. With Longhorn Investments, you can receive up to 75% of ARV, finance up to 100% of cost, close in three to five business days, no income requirements, a streamlined simple approval process, and no prepayment penalty. Formed in 2008, Longhorn Investments has funded over 4,000 loans since its inception and includes complementary businesses, including a title company and real estate law practice. Longhorn's wealth of experience puts them in the unique position of being able to help investors throughout all aspects of each transaction. To get started today and see why Longhorn Investments is the superior lending experience, call and speak to Lawrence Hopkins at 314-749-7616. That's 314-749-7616. Or visit Longhorn Investments at longhorninvestments.com. Longhorn Investments. Hard money lending simplified. Universe. Media. Network. 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 Good day. I'm Samantha Smith with your United States Real Estate Investing News. Donald Trump real estate acquaintance Tom Barrick is under investigation over illegal United Arab Emirates activities with relationships that stem over 50 years. Quoting Eric Schatzker from Bloomberg, a week before he was charged with illegal lobbying for the United Arab Emirates, Tom Barrick traveled to New York for an on-camera interview in Midtown Manhattan. Dressed casually in dark jeans and a gray long-sleeve top by Zania, he gave no indication that he knew federal prosecutors across the East River in Brooklyn were preparing a seven-count indictment. The investor, 74, spoke comfortably and confidently about his relationships in the Middle East, some of which go back a half-century to when, as a young lawyer from Los Angeles, he worked in Saudi Arabia. Barak called Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, the crown prince of Abu Dhabi, one of the best leaders anywhere in history, and said Emiratis would be among his co-investors in a venture he had just started to finance deals in the hospitality, leisure and entertainment industries. If anything, he was relaxed and seemed relieved to have moved on from two of the most challenging episodes of his career, the presidency of Donald Trump and the turnaround of Colony Capital, the real estate investment firm he founded in 1991. Barrick, who was one of Trump's biggest backers on Wall Street and chaired the committee that funded his inauguration, described his detour into politics as full of anguish, and the troubles at Colony as a nightmare. The comments from his July 13 interview with Bloomberg Television have been edited and condensed. End quote. To see video and the full in-depth interview with Barrick, see more information in the news notes. With bulging pockets, big investment firms are steadily pushing forward to crowd out mom-and-pop real estate investors with no apparent plans of stopping. Quoting Carol Ryan of the Wall Street Journal, Wall Street firms are more eager than ever to buy family homes. If they snap up existing supply rather than help build new dwellings, they risk killing their latest golden goose. Last week, Blackstone's Real Estate Investment Trust bought a portfolio of apartments for $5.1 billion from insurer American International Group. In June, the investment firm spent $6 billion on Home Partners of America, a company that owns more than 17,000 houses across the U.S. and offers renters an option to buy. Private equity giant KKR launched a new division that will buy homes to rent them out, Bloomberg reported. Meanwhile in Europe, property investors are increasing the share of their portfolios invested in residential real estate, and German landlord Vanovia recently launched an 18 billion euros takeover of competitor Deutsche Wohnen, equivalent to $21.2 billion. Although rented homes are becoming a hot trade among big investors, the trend isn't new. Blackstone made lucrative bets on foreclosed houses in the aftermath of the 2008-2009 downturn. And there isn't evidence yet that institutional investors are crowding out average home buyers. They bought just 1 in 500 U.S. homes sold in the 12 months after the COVID-19 crisis began, according to Amherst Capital. However, big investors' activity will increase now that the pandemic has made owning family homes more attractive. While the rents collected from commercial real estate assets such as malls and offices took a hit during the COVID-19 crisis, most private residential tenants continued to pay up. Family homes could be an even better long-term bet than owning e-commerce warehouses. Real estate research firm Green Street estimates that renting out U.S. single-family homes will deliver annual returns of 6.6%, versus a forecast of 6.3% for industrial property. End quote. To see the full report, see more information in the news notes. 
As the current real estate market continues to glow warm, experts warn real estate professionals to keep a level financial head because the sun eventually goes down. Quoting Lisa Brown of Keipelinger, with a red-hot housing market, times are good for real estate professionals. Demand for second homes more than doubled during the pandemic, according to economists at the national real estate brokerage Redfin. Home prices in many metropolitan areas around the country have jumped significantly, reaching record levels. I witnessed the price rise firsthand. I recently returned from a family vacation in the North Carolina mountains, where many homes now sell for double or triple the price compared to just a couple of years ago. As a result, anyone working in real estate has likely seen their income balloon during the last 12 to 18 months. Agents are turning listings over more rapidly, receiving strong commissions and moving on to the next deal. For real estate investors, they are seeing price tags soar and homes selling at a premium. With all of this cash flying around, people making their living in real estate need to take action now to diversify their assets. And this means investing in assets other than property. Failing to do so can be costly. Since real estate is cyclical and many real estate professionals have incomes that rise and fall quickly, they should set up an emergency fund that will cover approximately 12 months of expenses. Because income for a real estate agent or investor is less predictable than many other occupations, this 12-month reserve is roughly double the amount recommended for salaried jobs. Self-employed individuals or small business owners in the real estate profession who foresee another year or two of strong profits should consider saving some of that money into a tax-deferred retirement account. Real estate pros should also consider opening or making contributions to an existing taxable brokerage account. These accounts have no age or deposit restrictions, which allows a person to tap into this money when the economy starts to cool and their business slows. When the money is flowing, many real estate pros can be tempted to buy luxury items, a new car or a pool for the home. And once a person becomes comfortable with a bigger, more expensive lifestyle, the harder it is to scale back. Less spending on frills will make it easier to adjust your lifestyle when the market takes a turn. To see this full report, see more information in the news notes. For our quick content suggestions this week, we have It may be unsexy, but this one asset class is critical to any financial plan by Derek Ripp of Kiplinger, and Best Performing Real Estate Sectors This Year by Karen Johansson of Stacker via the Gwinnett Daily Post. To research further, see links and more from these reports in the news notes. I'm Samantha Smith for United States Real Estate Investor News, United States Real Estate Investor.com. Let's face it, your property is ugly as f. ARS Construction does it right, from roofing to exterior to all your interior needs. For a free roofing estimate, call now at 844-445-ROOF. That's 844-445-7663. Or visit advancedroofsys.com. That's advancedroofsys.com. ARS Construction. Roofing and construction done right.